Hello, welcome to another speed paint time lapse thingy. I'm going to be trying something a little bit different with this one as it's quite a long one. So I'm going to be adding snippets of audio commentary about my process throughout. Let me know in the comments what you think of this approach, whether you think it's a good idea or not. But uh, I'm just going to experiment with this one. So yeah, let's let's crack on. You. So this is some long overdue fan art of a VTuber friend of mine called Asher the Game Genie. And I've had this idea for quite some time. Basically, I want to draw them standing in as a actual Game Genie cartridge by sitting inside a Mega Drive cart slot and sticking a game cart on the head. Growing up with a Mega Drive, the Game Genie was actually one of my probably most used cartridges because I used it a lot for, well, you know, cheating in games. But in particular, there was a debug code for Sonic 3 that I would use that cart for lots because the actual level select and debug codes for the game itself were quite difficult to pull off, so the Game Genie codes helped in that respect. The game cartridge in question is Monster World 4, as Asher is named after that game's protag, and their first VTuber model was of that character. As I'm sure you know, Monster World 4 was a Japanese-only release on the Mega Drive, so I made sure the cartridge resembles a Japanese Mega Drive cartridge, because they're quite different from the Western ones. After a while I realised the game cartridge is actually a bit too small. I had to make sure it was in proportion with the cart slot of the Mega Drive. I know this is just a sketch phase but I just wanted to make sure the proportions were correct before I started finalising anything. The arms have been proving a bit of a challenge on this one. After a load of tweaking I decided to basically start from scratch on them with a photo reference. I'll save Terry T the embarrassment of a photo of her holding the Mega Drive cart on her head but yeah I made her do that. The background is going to resemble the box art of the Game Genie itself with its wonky pixel logo and 90s as all hell colours. The tail was looking a bit short, so I redid it a few times. I've put a lot more work into this sketch than I usually do, as I wanted to make sure it was just right before putting the final lines down. It took about an hour in the end.
These hands look so much better after um, doing a photo reference. Don't forget kids, photo references are, they're your friend. <laughs> photo references are your friend. If you try to do everything from your brain, it's not always gonna work, especially for me, because I'm not great at anatomy, especially when it comes to hands and arms and feet and things. So <laughs> limbs, basically. I'm trying to get into more of a habit of flipping my art. I know a lot of artists swear by doing this to make sure your proportions and everything works better. I'm still sort of getting used to it though. I haven't done it much yet, but I tried a little bit of it here. I'm not really sure if it helped or not. If the circuit board was sticking out of a Mega Drive cartridge as much as it is in this artwork, I'd be pretty concerned. But obviously I've done that to just make sure you can tell it's a cartridge because otherwise if that, that little circuit board bit wasn't there, it would just kind of just look like a random black slab of anything. So just to, that helps. I've always loved all the little references to Sega consoles all over Asher's character design, like the VMU and Dreamcast light, and even the tiny little ABC buttons on the little necklace.
So before I finish the line art, I decided to start slapping some colours down. I tend to do this about maybe halfway or three thirds of the way into a piece of art just so I can get a feel of what the colours are going to be, which is always a good idea because quite a lot of the time the colours are actually a lot duller than I'd like them to be. So at one point around here I tweaked all the colours in Photoshop. I left this out of the time lapse as it was just a bunch of sliders being shifted about but it's always a good idea to just tweak the colours as I'm going along just so I know, just so I know it's looking good. Just needed to fix this arm up a wee bit. I've got to be honest this right arm was kind of bothering me for a majority of working on this but I, I think I got it mostly down. Now on to the Monster World 4 label. I don't own a copy of this game unfortunately so I had to google what it looks like. I decided to go lineless here as I think line art would be a bit too cluttered in such a small part of the image. Not really worrying about the details too much, uh, just making sure it conveys what it is. Let's continue with the line art, making sure this tail looks in proportion with the rest of Ash's body. It took a few goes to get the, the, the length of it and stuff right, I think. My first go at the line art for the tail was pretty scruffy and bad so I ended up having another go at it.
So I'm using a watercolor style brush here for the tail's gradient color. Um, there's not going to be shading on any of this image. I just wanted to make sure the tail has all the oranges and yellows that their tail has. So here I'm adding the binary code to Ash's tail with an overlay filter so the ones and zeros blend in nicely with the color. I probably could have used the font here but I actually quite like the, the hand drawn. Makes it a lot easier to just scribble them down. Redoing the pupils here as I don't think Ash would really look like they were looking up towards the game cart. So yeah. I. Took a few goes, but I, I redid the eyes here. Right, onto the Mega Drive. I brought down my console from my gaming room for reference so I can get the angle I want. You could have said Asher is passing through Monster World 4 to bypass region locking or something, but this is a Japanese console anyway, so that wouldn't really be needed. Well, now I think about it, this isn't actually technically a Japanese console that I have, it's a PAL Asian model, but yeah, whatever. I wanted to make sure it looks like Asher is sitting inside the cart slot here. Not like wedged all the way in, but you know, just sitting just about inside it. Ooh, let's redo that left hand corner. That looks wonky and maybe too detailed. Yeah, let's make sure it's a bit less is more, I think. Again, I wasn't too worried about like this Mega Drive being super detailed, but I couldn't resist adding in some of the little details like the text going across it. Now on to the background. I have the NES box art for reference here, but the design was pretty much the same on all consoles. Gotta make sure to get those garish colours and the lightning and the slightly wonky pixel font that they used for the logo.
a few filters and tweaks off capture and it's complete. It took around 6 hours in total across 2 days. Asha just so happened to be live streaming right as I was wrapping this picture up, so I sent it to them live. What did they think? Oh! Long overdue fan art. Spent a majority of the last two days on this. Animated, I... <laughs> I'm, I'm a little teary-eyed, not gonna lie. Oh my god, that's so good. Holy shit. Oh my god. Yeah, I have to show that. Oh my god, it's perfect. Thank you so much. Yeah, it, it's it's perfectly cartoony and it's got it's got the game genie and putting a cartridge on my head and it's Monster World 4 and it's like a reference to my old model and uh, I love it. Thank you. God, that's like that's almost like a like a like a game ad. Like I could see that in a magazine. <laughs> so neat. So glad you like it. Well, thank you so much for, you know, working on that. That's that's very sweet of you. Thank you. So yeah, that reaction left me grinning from ear to ear. Wait a minute, do I have ears? So yeah, that was a bit of a different speed paint, quite a long one. I hope you guys enjoyed that. If uh, you liked what you saw, please like and subscribe and all that good stuff. If you could, that'd be nice. And we have some other speed paint videos. I have a whole playlist you can check out. And I'll see you next time. Bye-bye. Where are my ears?